Resource mission is another new feature in Injustice 2. And I'm actually not too familiar with this one, so why don't you take it away? Well, so the idea is that you can get uh, XP, and one day of the week, it'll each day has a different event for XP that, has, that gives a special bonus to different classes. So you can see each day of the week has its own. There's one day that's random, so it could be uh, generic or sorry, random class XP, so it could be for any of them, and then one day it's for uh, credits only. So each day you can actually do three missions. Depending on what you've done before, you can unlock different levels because the higher the level you get, the more XP that you get. Uh, XP is sort of the augment, basically like the augmentations in Injustice 1, um, but they get progressively harder each time, and this, the, the curve is actually significantly big. The modifiers that, that are active, so not only do you get... XP that's good, that gives you extra XP if you use it on a specific class of character. Each day's event has a class that gives you better advantage. I think today it might be tech, actually. And it tells you at the beginning with a little sort of picture. Or maybe it's arcane, I can't remember I'm now. I'm pretty sure it's arcane. Okay. I, I was well, going to say tech sounded wrong, but I didn't want to, yeah. That that would make sense, fighting with Dr. Fate, who is arcane. Yeah. So it just makes it easier. In, in this case, I think it's a 50% bonus to damage. And you can see there, you can only do it three times. Unless you want to spend more precious gems again, the number of times you can play each daily XP event is just the three times. Yeah. And you can see, it's still, you're taking it a huge amount of stamina, 12 stamina to be able to play this. Um, so it's not cheap. Yeah, and all you get is XP. So, I'm not entirely sure that it's worth it. I think I have to play this a little bit more to figure out if on the balance there's enough value to it because you get XP by playing real and actually getting other rewards so yeah. and you can see I mean when you, you can see by the threat level that you're totally the class of the team but when you even get to the third or fourth fight it gets significantly harder and again I, I interesting execution or sorry, interesting idea. I'm just not sure about the execution and whether it's actually something of value. So look, you actually get a lot of sort of XP augmentations. Yeah, and you that. talk about saying not knowing if it's worth it just for play. Um, another factor is the load times, right? So mm -hmm. d depending on the rewards, uh, this is maybe parting the curtain a little bit, but we cut out like a good three or three minutes of load times, I'd say, alone just in this, mm -hmm. out of like um, a f five minutes of play. And there's still some load times, you can see. We still left the beginning and end. But just so, so you know what's happening. Yeah. So that's like a good what? Like a little over a third of the time was spent in load screens. So that's a, that's a factor too. Yeah, when you think about it, I mean, for the, for the same kind of fight, you're probably getting more XP, but you're getting less of the other rewards that will matter to you. Yeah. So, so it's really hard to say. XP doesn't feel as important. Now, the, the problem, I guess the, the way it's changing in the calculation of this Injustice 2 compared to Injustice 1 is that XP is easier to access because you can play a lot more. Here, it might be more difficult because your stamina is for the whole game. Yeah. So what it... It, it encourages you to play with your strongest characters, get farther, but then you're leaving some other characters with no sort of progression. So that, there's, there's no real penalty for that, is the issue. Once you've got like a full team of each type, I don't think, um, of like full characters that you know how to play, I don't think there's really any actual motivation in playing anybody else, especially if you've already got all the gear for your guy. Oh, one thing I want to point out about Dr. Fate is his passive is to make it easier for people to get specials. And you can see it represented on the power bar at the top where the arrows that show where the next um, special comes is closer to the beginning. So there we go. You can see you have to purchase more replays. That's our three for the uh, day. Right. And if you, they'd only make it more transparent and you're using money, that's about 35 cents, 30 cents. Yeah. So there you go. We can grab our daily achievement and that's it that's that's all you can get out of resource missions for one 24-hour period what's next next up is challenge there we go 